Hello comrades, this is General Luigi, and welcome to Let's Play Kirby 64, The Crystal Shards. So it is time to face Miracle Matter again. Let's see how well I fare against it this time. Well, let's wait for the bubble. Okay. Darn it. Stone and bomb. Do I dare? Sure. Damage, but <laughs> okay, so there's another user her who commented on my video the last time I fought Miracle Matter. And they suggested an interesting strategy, and one that I will try and give a shot here, assuming he Yeah, if you toss the power. Yeah. Should have figured as much, just like any Kirby boss, although. It appears to have its limits. <laughs> Lovely! Well, let's just take our stone form. That'll protect us from any bubbles that hit us. Alright, ice. Let's just duck. It's a really nice power. Provided you can actually... Dynamite is a really nice power. Provided you can actually... What am I trying to say here? Provide the enemy is vulnerable to it. And you actually get enough time to... <coughs> oh, I never knew Kirby would sit down like that. Okay. Jump over it. There we go. Stone. Perfect. Okay, that didn't go quite as planned. I hate spark. I hate his spark form, I should say. Alright. What are we gonna get this time? Fire. Sure, why not? Yeah, I should have figured it wouldn't affect him. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> I really shouldn't have been hit by that. <sighs> so yes, in case you didn't notice from my life total, I am using, I'm doing the same session as the previous episode. <laughs> what am I trying to say here? Maybe I should have a what am I trying to say here counter. Ah. Ooh, this could work nicely. Fire arrow. Really nice power. Darn it. Just a bit too late. Okay. Fire appears to be defeated. Ah, how convenient. Needle. Quite yet. Yes! Alright. Cutter. Nice. Alright. So, I don't want to jinx it, but we're doing a lot better this time around. Alright, so yeah, that's the strategy the previous comment commenter on that other episode recommended. Ooh. This could be convenient. Yeah, refrigerator. Gives you food. Ow! Which I might need at this rate! Alright. I love how you're who can damage him with food of all things. Ow! Okay. Note to self, Kirby is 
not invulnerable to electric to that particular attack. Oh well. Food appears to be <laughs> capable of destroying the those bomb based attacks, so I'm not complaining. Okay, now it's just a simple matter of bomb. Don't want to jinx it, but we all might have this guy. Ow. Had to open my mouth. <laughs> well, he's only got one power left, so... Come on. Yes! Alright. <laughs> and we get a maximum tomato if we defeat a boss we've already defeated. Alright. So, new cutscene this time. Hmm, an explosion? I forget, did it do that in the previous one? I should be quiet. Yep, that is the only appearance of the Warp Star in the entire game. So, welcome to the final stage, Dark Star. And truth be told, for a final stage, this place is really easy. Of course, now that I've said that, I'm probably gonna die. It's just really simple platforming. Uh, thank you. And if you've got power, those enzies are pretty much harmless. Especially since they pretty much hold completely still, or just walk in really predictable patterns. Alright. And you see one of your buddies in every single spot in this stage. Alright, thank you, Adeline. And... The final boss... Uh, well, you'll see soon enough. Yeah. This is... <sighs> Last that I forgot his name. I want to say O2, or is it O squared? Well, regardless, <clears throat> you get a special power for the this battle. It only can be used in this fight. Basically, Ribbon holds Kirby while he shoots crystals at the boss. And there are three phases to the battle. First, you have to hit him in the eye. Then he'll start. Then he'll expose the bandage on his head and the halo. Damage that enough. Then he'll expose that spiky green tail, which expels some sort of green gas. Your guess is as good as mine regarding what it is, and that is his actual weak spot. So apparently, this boss was the main boss in what was it, Kirby's Dreamland 3? Which makes sense considering that that game. Went feature to dark matter. Okay. So, then you just repeat the process. As far as final bosses go, this guy's... <laughs> wow! I really shouldn't say stuff like that! But, yeah, truth be told, as far as final bosses go, especially in a Kirby game, this guy is a pushover. <laughs> All who saw that coming... But, no, really! This guy is a wimp! Most final bosses in Kirby games, at least in the ones I've played, have multiple forms, and will actually give you quite a run for your money. O2 is... well, he's not... I just remembered, it's zero two, Not O2. And that would make sense. I mean, O2? That's not exactly... It's something that you would expect as a name. Well, truth be told, even Zero Two, not so much. But 
truth be told, it's mostly just dodge left and right and keep shooting. That's pretty much all there is to this boss fight. And you can damage those red spots on his wings, but in my opinion, it's not worth the trouble. As far as I'm aware, it doesn't help you in any way. But yeah, just go through this process twice, and if you're a good enough shot, you'll be done with this guy pretty quickly. Okay. Good, good, good. <laughs> so, yeah. Despite my dying, this guy's a pushover. And I can't exactly prove it, but... The first time I faced this guy, I won. So when I faced this guy for the first time, I defeat him easily. That should tell you a lot about just how weak this guy really is. I mean, he is the only Kirby boss that I was ever able to defeat on the... Well, the only Kir final Kirby boss that I was ever able to defeat on the first try. Alright, did you see? I actually damaged some of the red stuff on his wings. Alright. Game over! Alright, so there you go. That is Kirby 64, the Crystal Shards, in its entirety. Well, save for the mini-games and other extra stuff. I don't know, I might show you some mini-games in a bonus episode as filler while I wait for feedback on my voice acting in Pokémon Coliseum. Yeah, that's actually the only reason I've been holding off on the second episode. I have gotten zero feedback. So sorry to, ref to mention my other LP there, but... That's the thing, I don't want to, to keep going with that if I'm going to just end up doing something that most of my viewers are going to hate. But more relevant to this game, as far as I'm aware, that is the only character Kirby has shown even the slightest hint of romantic interest in. That, so, that should tell you a lot about Kirby's character. He's just... Well, he's not the kind of guy to bother with that kind of thing. And, I don't know, I'm not sure where exactly I'm going with that one. He seems to be the kind of character who's just... Well, he's kind of forced into a particular position, and he went... And he just sees things through to the end. That's Kirby for you. And all of a sudden I'm running out of things to say, which may be just as well, judging by how the credits are at the executive producer now. There's probably not much left of the credits. So as for my next LP, well, I'm not entirely sure yet. Still got plenty of Pokémon Coliseum left, after all. And, well, doing two at once might be a bad idea. At least for me. Well, anyway, I will see you next time.